Um, I am not a formula painter. I won't um, hold you by the hand and lead you through a painting. I will show you techniques and methods and what they do. And you apply those techniques and methods to what you paint, not what I've held you by the hand and had you paint. Okay. Now, you, you don't want to overdo the background. The background is out of our focus. We're focused on the stuff in the foreground. The background is the supporting material. Are you ready for this? This is the magic time. All right. Magic time. Where's the steady hand? <laughs> I got it sticking too hard. Now, you do not want to leave tape on overnight. You want to take it off as soon as possible. Okay, you get a hold of there and pull it. Got it? Okay, now pull, 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 pull. All right! Good one. Your turn. Right there. Where did you get your Hold it up. Uh, Cheap Joe's. Cheap Joe also. Uh, however, you can buy it at most any of the uh, local art stores. Even the, the 300 pounds? Yes, I think so. But I, I usually buy it from mm -hmm. uh, places like that. <laughs> yeah, that works. Do you ever use masking fluid? Masking fluid I use occasionally. I don't like masking fluid. It's too harsh. Mm -hmm. uh, I prefer this. But masking fluid is a, a uh, usable kind of material. You know what? I, we left home in northern New York right after Thanksgiving. All of our children came home at Thanksgiving. We finally got rid of them, and I said, Honey, we're leaving on Tuesday. And I left half of my stuff at home. Does anybody have a jackknife in their pocket? Because I didn't bring my jackknife. Pen Ah, I knew there had to be somebody that had a jackknife. Okay. Show me that open. <laughs> Gun. Okay. At a certain point, the color can be squeezed out of the paper. There's an old dead snag there. Here's another one here. And here's one down here and up like that. Where's the big snake? It's not snake, snag. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, this is fun. I have never had so much fun in my life. Whew. Where do we go from here? Okay. Let's rock and roll. I'm going to lay your knife right over here with my brushes in case I need it again, okay? Hey, you'll never see it again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a little bit of, of uh, burnt sienna. A little bit of raw sienna, a little bit of burnt umber, a little bit of raw umber. Now, do you notice I'm not mixing the paint all over the place? I'm just dabbing the paint in the brush, so there's a lot of different kinds of colors, but they aren't all mixed up to make mud. And I'm probably going to put a touch of ultramarine blue even on the edge there. And I'm going to build my wonderful cliffs here. Cliff. Cliff is not something you have in the gown. <laughs> it's a very steep hill. Oh, so you can jump off? <laughs> well, it's not too high. Mm. 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 <laughs> well, then you jump off the high ones. <laughs> oh. I can show you how to repel off them. That you don't know what a repelling is, do you? No. I don't know. 
And that's when those guys get roped in and step backwards over the cliff and walk down the cliff. It's great fun. Why am I doing it so fast? So that I don't get the colors all mixed up. Mixed up, exactly. <coughs> now, why do you suppose I'm leaving that tiny white edge at the edge of the. Hmm? What do you think? To separate the trees and the cliff. <laughs> what would happen if I touched? The paint would mix up with the trees and it would not look good. <laughs> <laughs> You are all right, babe. Babe. <laughs> Got a good handle on that. Yeah, I <laughs> that looks like mud. That's right. It looks like mud. Is it? <coughs> well, it's not caliche. <laughs> What's caliche mean? <laughs> I can't believe what I just heard. You don't know what caliche is. I don't. What does it mean? Caliche is a type of dirt commonly found in the Southwest, particularly in Texas. And it's the closest thing you have to sliding on snow <laughs> when it gets wet. Clay? Caliche. Unfortunately. Where's that? I have just made a decision. I'm taking you home. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go out in town, my wife. I'm leaving now. She. Uh, I'm leaving farther. She says, I'm going ah, with you can't you. get me. You know why she goes with me? Is because I think these children of the valley are absolutely the most beautiful children outside of my own that I've ever seen. And I just love talking and doing like I'm doing. What is your name, son? Barney. Barney? <laughs> you seen Barney, it's on TV? <laughs> All right. Actually, he's real. <laughs> OK, I'm doing fog behind in the valley. The fog is flowing down the valley. And I'm even going to make it flow a little bit by picking it up and running it like that. Did I get you yet? Not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm leaving too. Okay. So. Can you pay my face? No, son, I'm not going to your face. I was just teasing. So, this is coming all right. I like this. I like this very much.